tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday, hump day, and we're ready to bring you all the action. This is Kevin Harlan, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks. Anthony Davis was among the top candidates for last season's Defensive Player of the Year award. AD said he takes pride in his defense, adding, anytime guys feel they can score it on me, I take it personally. Kevin, it's going to take an awful lot to get your shots up over the brow. Back to you. Sure does, DA. Thank you so much. Now Golden State's starting five. And the wings, it's Thompson and Wiggins. Wiseman's out there with Green, and it's Curry in at the point guard. And for the Lakers, the forwards are LeBron and Davis. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Caldwell Pope and Harrells in at the center position. Today, Greg, we see a lot more friendly rivals. Does that bother you? Not at all. I mean, people no. like to say, well, our era had the rivalries were more bitter. Um, I disagree with that. I, I think guys are every bit as competitive today as they've ever been. That's good to hear. Uh, they just also have more exposure and opportunity to be around one another. Kids today growing up, They've been playing against each other since the fifth, sixth grade in national tournaments. When we played, we didn't get to see the other top players around the country. So I think that was one reason why you didn't have a closeness with guys that, unless you were on the same team. Now James, following the three-point attempt by Andrew Wiggins. Caldwell Pope for three. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Caldwell Pope's got his team on the board to start the game for Los Angeles. Thompson against Caldwell Pope. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Amon Green with the rebound. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Now, here's Curry. There's a screen. Going inside. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. No good on the triple. It's stolen by Curry. And James Wiseman picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. LA's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And, and you just got to love Steph's passion for the game. He, even his pre-game workout has drawn attention. GA, let me give you this little story. One time in high school, he got so pumped before a game, he actually hurt himself. He jumped up, hit his forehead, and had to get stitches. The man just loved to play, and he loved this game. Three-pointer, and Curry the bucket on the assist by Wiseman. Stephen Curry is great off the dribble, but he also is good at the catch and shoot. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Down low. Stolen by Thompson. Wiggins surveying the floor. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Wiseman kicks to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Wiggins finds Green. Five on the clock. And he drives in. Bucket is good. And this game is tied up now. Draymond's so good at just putting his head down and charging his way inside. The defense wanting no part of his big body there. And there's the call on Curry. That's his first foul. against Thompson and there's another one for the Lakers and if you're the guy who has to guard him it is never going to be an easy night for you Curry against Schroeder shoots from the baseline great D that time from Dennis Schroeder and so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers Caldwell Pope outside back to LeBron 
And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Montrez here. Thompson against James. Over Thompson. Drops it in from 14 feet away. James has got his second bucket tonight. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. And there's the try. That one goes. Count it. Curry's got five. I like the way Clay now studies a defense and makes great decisions with the ball. James in the post. Working on Thompson. LeBron can't get it to go. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Passes to Wiggins. Over Caldwell Pope. And it's Wiggins missing. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Davis dishes to Caldwell Pope. From the arc. It's good from Schroeder on the assist by Coldwell Pope. Schroeder has really improved as a three-point shooter. With that shot, he becomes even more dangerous. Curry passes to Wiseman. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. Six on the shot clock. Back to Curry. Fires for three. Doesn't go for him. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Caldwell Pope outside. Schroeder outside. Here's Kuzma. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. When Kuzma first entered the league, the Lakers were a rebuilding team. Now, Greg, he's one of the more experienced pieces on this team. And Kuzma's made the most of it, switching to a learning role. Tries to absorb as much as he can from the vets. And he does everything he can to pick their brain and improve on those little things in terms of championship caliber basketball. And the first one at the line is good. And the former Utah Ute, Kyle Kuzma, can play either forward spot as a good blend of Smitty of size and speed. Yes, Kevin, but right now I prefer him at the four. The reason why, he can stretch the floor, but he can tack a lot of those big forwards. And his shooting, it will get consistent as the years go on. No good on the second free throw. Kyle Kuzma is trying to be more of a team player. Whether he's coming off the bench or starting, he's starting to accept his role. Now here's Curry. He has five. Oubre outside. And Gasol sends it back. Gasol with those long arms is a shot blocking expert, especially down low. Warriors trail by six. Curry kicks to Wiggins. The pass to Pascal. Back to Wiggins. Puts up a three. Gasol with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Here's Caruso. Matthews a screen on Kirk. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Oubre. And so it's Los Angeles with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And don't go away. We'll be right back. A little bit earlier, we had a chance to chat with Kyle Kuzma, who loves playing alongside so much talent. For me, it's, it's super cool just, just to learn, sit back, watch, but also uh, compete against these guys. You know, that, that's something that I want to do. So to be around those guys and, you know, being the foxhole with those guys is, you know, it's pretty incredible. 
Well, Kuzma Greg has certainly learned a lot, proficient at the offensive end, and adding more to his game every day. Yeah, I mean, he's been focused on improving the defense and rebounding, and much of that is due to the players he's been surrounded by. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? You can see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also keeping them out of sync. In a moment now to reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And Golden State looking at who they've got. The guard pair are the incredible Curry and Thompson. Rick Pascal out there with Chris. And it's Oubre at the three spot. And the Lakers with possession here. After the missed three from Stephen Curry. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and things that we take for granted now. So looking back on it, no, but boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us. Went back out on the floor. Doc that just means that he'll be great in TV. Somewhere. We saw this. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. free throw missing and the energy of a guy like Montrez Harrell can rub off on the entire team yes it can GA he plays with a high motor generates steals blocks and deflections he's active all over the court and now we're seeing it on the offensive end as well here's what the Lakers are going with right now James checked in for Kyle Kuzma Caldwell Pope comes in for Wesley Matthews and Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alex Caruso. And he's good on the second. Well, you know, teams look for plus sixes. Players whose wingspans exceed their height by a half foot. Montrez Harrell is a 6'7 player with a 7'4 wingspan. If you're struggling with the math, ladies and gentlemen, that's a plus nine. Good on that, Sean. With that, the Los Angeles lead is cut to just five on the basket from Green. I mean, bullying his way around the court. Draymond invites contact, then comes through with the bucket. Now, here's Schroeder. Here's Harrell. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And between his length and his athleticism, Montrez Harrell well suited for that role of small ball center, Greg, in today's NBA. Yeah, I mean, he's fearless. Even giving up a few pounds, a few inches, he'll go right at you and making steady improvements as a rebounder year over year. Now here's James after James Wiseman's miss. James in the post. He kicks it to Caldwell Pope. Harrell setting the pick for Caldwell Pope. And he's good on the three ball. The defense is beware. You have to close out hard on KCP and, and disrupt his rhythm. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Curry. Great D that time from Dennis Schroeder. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them shrink this deficit. Harrell was screen on Thompson. The drive by James, right on the bucket. And now it's a 10-point Laker lead. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Here's Curry. Gets that one to drop. That's his third field goal in eight tries. The defense was good, but what can you do? Curry just leveled up. 
LeBron. He has six. It's rebounded by Curry. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. And just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. And here's Schroeder after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. One forty-four left in the first half. Caldwell Pope lays it in without an inch of room around him. Caldwell Pope's got his third basket of the night. Yeah, and a knifing into the middle. Caldwell Pope, not just a perimeter threat. Young fella can elevate. Curry passes to Uber. Kicks it to Thompson. Golden State moving it around. They set the pick. And finished off by Oubre. A powerful finisher, Oubre Jr. You deserve to get tucked on when you let him get inside. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And just as Kelly Oubre was coming into his own as an NBA starter, a meniscus tear in his right knee ended his season. Now, back in action. We'll see how quickly he can recover his explosive athleticism. Davis has checked in for Gasol. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Montrez Harrell. Matthews, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. Then for the Warriors, Chris, he's checked in for Wiseman. Eric Pascoe comes in for Kelly Oubre. And Wiggins is subbed in for Thompson. Now here's LeBron. He has six. Pass to Caruso. Launches it. Tries again. And there's a nice layup by Kuzma. And the Lakers lead by seven. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Here's Chris. The rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Caruso, the pass to LeBron. Over Pascal. They get it back. This opportunity, it's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The shot by Curry, no good. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Now here's LeBron. From about 19 feet. Good, he hits the jump shot. James has got four points this quarter. And in the history of the game, few players LeBron's size have handled the ball as well as he does. And so it's Los Angeles in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you've been able to produce easily and efficiently in the first half. What's enabled you to keep it going? Um, I mean, I'm just moving on the offensive end and just finding the open spot. They turn their heads a lot, so I'm just trying to get to the open spot and then knock down a shot. Either I'm cutting to the back or so spot up for the three. You've been on a roll so far. We'll see if you can keep it up. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. 
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They have a nine-point lead. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Well, it's a nice, patient offense they're running tonight. Uh, they're not forcing shots. They're waiting for the good ones. And as efficient as they've been, no wonder they're in front. And over to Kenny, what did you think about Golden State? Their rebounding was an issue. I don't think that they showed the toughness that they need. It'll be a focus for them in the second half, I'm sure. They need to establish a physical presence inside. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Contavious Caldwell Pope really making a difference here. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. The forwards are LeBron and Davis. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Harrell in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the Laker five. And the basket by Curry. Around the free agent race last year, for your money, Greg, who would you have rather taken? Kawhi, and PG, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie. Wow. <laughs> I tell you what, it's a tough call, you know. Kawhi's that is. That is. got a couple finals MVPs. KD's got a couple. Kyrie's got a ring. It's a tough call. I mean, mm. PG is more than capable, man. I, I think it's a I think it's a toss-up, partner. I agree. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. Count it, and the Laker lead has been cut down to four on the bucket from Wiggins. And, and flashing some real toughness inside. Wiggins can finish plays that others simply can't. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. If you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Here's Curry driving to the basket. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Stephen Curry tenacious on his attacks to the hoop. Caldwell Pope outside. This is it to Hero. LeBron up top. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Harrell was screen on Wiggins. Holds it up there for Harrell. Up high to stop the alley -oop. If you start the alley oop, Harrell can usually finish it. He's an explosive big man with good hands. And for Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's best when he lets the game come to him when he's not forcing shots, not making things tough on himself, not making tough passes. Uh, you know, Smitty, a simple approach does wonders for him. Kevin, you applaud the maturity of KCP to realize that. He knew he needed to change his game to improve. Focusing on making the easy play has made him a very valuable member of this team. The first one falls. The Lakers making a switch here. Gasol's checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Kelly Oubre's checked in for Draymond Green. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. James sets the screen for Schroeder. Outside, Davis. And the pass to LeBron. Over Wiseman. Not a piece of it. Thompson with it. He has five. 
Wiggins kicks to Uber. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Crafty at cashing in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Free throw. Good. Oubre. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And here's Schroeder. Outside, Davis. From deep. And Curry pulls it down. The Warriors have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. The shot by Thompson, no good. Los Angeles has gone three to seven tonight from three-point territory. Davis dishes to Gasol and finished off by Gasol. Roy Adi attracts so much attention. He's learned to stay patient and just locate the open man. Thompson surveying the floor. Launches a three. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to LeBron. Over Wiggins. LeBron, no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Here's the lob to the hoop. And finished off by Weissman. He's so creative in the pick and roll sets because he's a threat at passing the basketball, a phenomenal passer. He's the defense's worst nightmare. Now here's Schroeder. James in the post. He's covered by Thompson. Yep, it counts. LeBron's got four this quarter. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Checked in for James. Matthews comes in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. Then for the Warriors, Marquise Chris comes in for Wiseman. And it's Eric Pascal in for Clay Thompson. Here's Pascal. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Wiggins passes to Curry. And again, no good by Golden State. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Strange to see Marcus Saul shooting from outside. His game break wasn't always like it is now. I mean, he's Gasol has added a three to his game in the last seasons with Memphis, and, and it was an immediate success. He became a functioning stretch five. Early in his career, he was more likely to drag you to the block and just bruise you more than anything else. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Warriors trail by four. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter of the game. 
Curry shot is off. Lakers have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Caruso, the pass to Davis. Out to Kuzma. From downtown, trains the three-pointer. And it's a seven-point Laker lead. This is Kuzma's game. You set me up, I'll knock it down. Here's Curry, and he gets it to go. Curry's got 14 points for the game. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Kuzma passes to Caruso. Let's a floater go. It's tipped, and they'll keep possession. And Matthews gets it to go. The capacity at 7-1 to just survey the floor. You're not going to impede Gasol's vision. Oubre outside. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Good work defensively by Gasol. Caruso kicks to Kuzma. Davis against Pascal. And another basket for the Lakers. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. It's Curry outside. And so it's Los Angeles going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We've got more in store for you right after this. arrived. So good to have you with us. Los Angeles leading by 10. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Fremont Green is out there with Weissman. Then it's Wiggins. And there's Clay Thompson. And it's Pascal in at the three spot. The Warriors shooting the ball at 42%. Schroeder against Thompson. Sweet little floater. Thompson's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Warriors. Thompson has a beautiful looking floater. Tough for the defense to contest. Schroeder against Wiggins. Schroeder passes to Kuzma. Shot clock at six. Here's James. Warriors with the rebound. That's one he knows he should have drained. Higgins outside. Pass to Green. Close contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. And Smitty, anytime there's a poll for dirtiest player in the NBA, Draymond seems to end up on that list. GA, in our day, there have been a lot of us on that list. This is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that one. Higgins outside. Passes it to Wiseman. Pascal with a screen on Harrell. And that one, good. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. James, the pass to Harrell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on James Wiseman. The crazy intensity of Montrez Harrell using it to perfection in order to get calls. Montrez Harrell, two shots.
That free throw, no good. Every coach would appreciate having Montrez Harrell on their roster. Plays unselfish, does the dirty work, and gives his team an edge. And he sinks the second. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Thompson outside. The pass to Wiseman. Back to Thompson. Higgins outside. Six to shoot. They get a hand on it. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. James outside. And again, the Lakers no good. Warriors trail by six. Thompson finds Wiggins. Here's Green. Wiseman sets a screen for Wiggins. Goes back up. He takes it up and lays it in. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. LeBron passes to Harrell. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Offline with the baseline jump. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. On the wing, Thompson. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Lock at six. Heisman sets a screen for Wiggins. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now, just a two-point Laker lead. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Harrell was screen on Thompson. Harrell trying to free himself up. And LeBron James gets it to go. LeBron barely needs the pick to get some separation, but he used it well right there. Now a timeout call by Golden State. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. Absolutely on fire. They need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. Contavious Caldwell Pope. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. And the Lakers making a change here. Davis has checked in. And the Warriors also making a change. Stephen Curry's checked in for Eric Pascal. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Oldham. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team not happy with what he says are late rotations defensively against their three-point shooters. And at the offensive end, he wants his guys to get their own shots within the rhythm and flow of the offense. Kevin? And you've got to love the energy right now. They got hot, but they absolutely had to. They're so close now, they've got to keep their foot on the gas pedal. Oh, well, 
Pope kicks to James. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get them one to go with all the content. So tough to keep Davis from getting his points. Now he goes to the line where he's been shooting in that 80% range. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. The former number one overall pick, Anthony Davis, does a great job of representing this franchise. Makes big plays on both ends of the floor. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Wiggins finds Curry to tie it up. A rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's LeBron. Harold trying to free himself up. LeBron, no luck. Warriors trail by three. There's 117 left in the fourth quarter. Curry is inside. Davis is there. Thompson passes to Wiseman. Another shot. He can't get that one to fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. James looking it over. Green with the block. What a play from Draymond to rise up and send it back. He really takes pride in his defense. It's in! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And that bucket was absolutely huge. A defensive stop now may just seal the deal.
17 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Curry. Driving in. Oh, no good. And that's an intentional foul. First one to drop, tough one to miss. And the second of two is good. That will put them up by two. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. What a show they put out here home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, a tough win, and this one wasn't pretty. So your thoughts on this kind of grinded-out win? It's all about winning. It was strategy. The game of basketball is about strategy and execution, and uh, you know whatever it takes for us to get a win. And I think we came out with a desperation attitude. We played defense at a higher level, and we got timely stops when we needed them. Yeah, you guys owned those last four minutes, and that was the important part. Appreciate your time, man. Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.